So sorry. I know I'm a little bit late. I was supposed to be here at 9 and then 9.15, but 9.20, only five minutes away from 9.15. I mean, it's, you know, it's like five minutes off or so. Anyways, I'm Mitskito. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we are playing Blue Stinger, which is an amazing little survival horror game. And uh, it's it's just kind of fantastic. It's very original. It's got a lot of really weird concepts in it. And currently, we're trying to fight uh, this huge Mecha Godzilla thing. And uh, in order to do that, we need the Super Bazooka. In order to do that, uh, I need to enable chat on uh, YouTube. So let me uh, load this up real quick. There's no easy way to do it because every single time you start to stream, it's got a different title and because it has a different title, restream. Need you to actually uh, change that in the dashboard. So I apologize to everybody on YouTube right now. Uh, I'm fixing it at the moment. Save. So anyways, we got to save up some money for a super bazooka and I'm stupid excited to use that. And I can finally live my dream of being the owner of a napalm gun because I missed out on it earlier and it turns out you can actually buy it later. So that's pretty freaking exciting. Um, I'm, I'm actually super stoked for that. Ah! <laughs> no, <laughs> no. But uh, yeah, so trying to fix this lighting situation a little bit. And let me see if I can put, mm, but yeah, that's better. I think that's better. Uh, maybe. No, this might be better when it gets used to it. Yeah, I think it's used to it. So we're good. All right. Uh, so we got to make some damned money. Okay. YouTube is also connected. Welcome to every front one from YouTube. I can see you now. I can't speak, but I can see you now, which is good. Um, just real quick, get my shit situated. All right, so currently we're up to a thousand. All we need is thirty thousand. So we're doing a bit of a fundraiser with the sumo shirt because this shit makes you invincible, which is the best way to play this game. I mean, it's not literally invincible. One sec, I just gotta. Ambient sound is the best. It's the only reason I can actually hear myself while I have these headphones on. <laughs> but yeah, there's literally nothing they can do because as you use the sumo move, uh, I believe this shirt uh, was originally recommended by Brandon or B C BBC K Chief? BBC K Chief? I haven't called him his actual username in a while, so... Um, it's just Brandon. And the best part of doing it this way is you don't actually waste any of your damn money uh, wasting ammo, which is fantastic. So that's also something that's very, very good. I wonder why the volume sounds so low to me. That's why the audio sounds so low. All right, we got it. Damn. Holy crap. All right, so now we got audio. It's a good step. It's a good step in the right direction, I feel. I at least feel that. Let's see if we can turn this bitch over here. And then maybe up. Boom. That's bad. I'm trying a bit of a new lighting situation today, so. Seeing how it goes. I kind of like that warm light on the one side and then the cool light in front. It's such a cool light. Actually, you know what? That one spot might even be better to farm him. Uh, let me actually see. Is there a specific farming spot? To let me turn off Discord so my shit doesn't actually get destroyed. 
Because if I have Discord on, for some reason, it like blue screens my computer and that's very annoying. Hey, what up, Sean? How the hell are you doing, man? Best farming spot, blue stinger. Just curious if there is. Nope, literally nothing. Nothing anywhere. Because why would there be anything anywhere? Oh shit, I need my damn fan. No! Oh my god, give me two seconds. I'm sitting here wondering, like, which friggin' thing did I forget? And yeah, as it turns out, um, yeah, it was the fan. That fan. All right, so I'm trying to think. I know there's another spot where there's a bunch of them. And it's right around here. Oh, you know what? I know exactly where to go. I got this. Damn it, I gotta switch guys. We're gonna get this money quick as shit. Cause I've been wanting to see inside this store anyway. Cause only Elliot can swim. This game actually asks a lot of you as far as like traveling around. It never feels too bad, but you're actually traveling like very far. Like, further definitely than most survival horror games. And not to say, like, the map is the largest one possible, but with the frequency that they make you go from, like, one side all the way to the other, it's it's a pretty far travel. So how's your day been, Sean? Oh, hell yeah, dude. I freaking love Pokemon. That's my shit. I like, um, I haven't been super, super interested in the newer ones because they're like, not the Pokemans I love, but, um, you know what I think is happening? I think it's continually changing contrast dynamically, which I'm not a fan of. I may have to turn that off. Um, yeah, like, uh, the original Pokemon, uh, all the way up to gold. Oh my God. That, that is my shit without a doubt. Uh, the newer Pokemans, uh, I don't even know a lot of the newer Pokemans, unfortunately. Um, only the ones that I learned from playing Pokemon Go uh, to the polls. Right, which one is the camera? There it is. Properties. Configure Bijo. Yeah, this shit's on automatic. I don't know why. That's stupid. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, no, it should be on this one. A play. Okay. Uh, okay. <sighs> why is this getting cut off? Oh, okay, that's why. Um, you said the uh, Toby Fox uh, composed music for the Pokemon games? Like the newer ones? <laughs> Okay, get the fuck away, bitches. All right, um. I think it's this way, yeah. 
Wait. Damn it. Which way is it? Uh. T -t 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 -t. Oh yeah, that's the um, the ultraviolet or something. I forget what the two of them are called, but it looks they look pretty good. I'm trying to remember where the hell is that? With the tackle box shop and all that shit. All right, dick. You get hurt just a little bit, and, uh... And, yeah, you just start limping. It's... It, I feel like the threshold should be lower. Like, you should have to take more damage before you start limping. Yeah, that's what it is. Scarlet and Violet. I mean, it looks really cool. Uh... Like... If I had any dough, I would be thinking about getting it. But, like, I really, really want that new Monster Hunter. New Wish. Like, the new Wist Monster Hunter. Uh, definitely before I get the new Pokemon. If they came out with, like, another, like, uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver for Switch, I would buy that shit in a heartbeat. Or I'd figure out what I have to sell to buy it. But, yeah, I, I mean, I love Pokemon. I have a big ass. I mean, actually, uh, I could probably show you. you. See the Pikachu up there in the corner? That's like a sign that's like four and a half feet wide. It's like an official Nintendo one that was used in Best Buy. I have so much cool shit from Best Buy. It's crazy. Like, I might as well be accused of stealing it. Even though I was definitely given all of it. You see this? Like, sumo. You cannot stop it. You cannot stop it. See, I still absolutely love watching Nuzlocke runs that people do. And I would definitely be down to do, like, a Nuzlocke run of Pokemon for, like, um... Uh... I'm trying to think. Like, probably Pokemon Gold. That would be the one I would be... The most affectionate with that would be the newest. I mean, I played Diamond and Pearl, and that is emulatable now, which would be kind of cool. You can't, you can't touch me, bro. You can't touch me. You cannot touch me. I'm unstoppable. I'm just a monster right now, and you are barely a monster. Oh my God, Yakuza is so good. It's like, it's like Shenmue, but with like. A ton more humor. That's that game is legitimately like one of the funniest games I've played, like ever. The amount of times I was just laughing my ass off at the dumbest shit in the game. It's so well made that way. Like even just the telemarketing one where uh, he's answering phones or whatever as a job. Just the way that he frigging grabs the phone is the most ridiculous thing ever. It's like he's about to do some insane epic, like, anime move. And he's just like, Fush! And then, like, the, um, the phone cord, like, whips around him all dramatically. It, like, Yakuza nailed the tone that they wanted to nail. They did it perfectly. Hence saying they nailed it, you know? But yeah, I think Yakuza is one of, uh... I would say the least appreciated, but they're not exactly underappreciated. They're just, no one ever talks about them until a new one comes out. And then they're like, oh yeah, Yakuza, I remember that game. The game's dope. I mean, it's cool, but like, you know, I'm going to go play Grand Theft Auto V more. Like, okay. I love Grand Theft Auto V. The original version. Um... Yeah, Grand Theft Auto V was awesome. Uh, I had a lot of fun with that on PS4. I know the PC version's better. I understand. I respect that, and I agree. Uh, I think I also have it for PC. But I think I got that in, like, some kind of Steam sale. I mean, yes and no. Like, I know they're not, like, they're not, like, breaking, uh, groundbreaking for, like, new types of gameplay or whatever for the uh, Yakuza series, but I think they're definitely 
I would say they're they're were they're without a doubt their own thing. They're the only thing that does what they do, other than like arguably Shenmue Three or the other Yakuza games. Like I don't know of any games that feel just like those. It's so Japanese. It's the most Japanese thing I think I've ever played in my entire life. And being a weeb, I love that. I love that so much. It's like living in Japan for a while. But also with all the badass, like, side stories of Yakuza and that shit. I'm trying to remember where the hell the tackle shop is. Like, I don't know why I cannot for the life of me place that. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. I think I know where it is. Because that's where we have to go for, like, lots of kills very quickly. I think it's through here. That's where I gotta go. Oh, yeah? Did you hear about the game that Sega talked about that they were going to make and it was gonna be some, like... It's gonna change the world of gaming. Like, it was... It was... Like, I forget exactly how they worded it. But it sounded like they were going to make it so good it goes viral. Like, I think that was, like, the sense of it, if I remember correctly. But they said nothing about the game. Just that it was going to be mind-blowing and that nothing would have ever been like it or whatever. I can't remember exactly. But I hope that's awesome, whatever the hell it is. I'm sure it will be. I mean, if they're, like, putting those kind of... Um, uh, promises up. Yeah, I really do hope that Sega gets back to more Japan-centric games. I just want more Japanese games, like, like super, like so Japanese. I want the only thing not Japanese in the game to be English subtitles. I want more of those games. Badly. Um, let me check the map real quick because I know I'm doing something wrong here. All right, if I'm in this room. How the hell do I get to the other room? Uh, oh wait, no, I think I'm in the right spot. So, die real quick. I just blew his arm off by karate. Uh, by sumo, actually, uh, you dumbass. Alright, so, if this is a curvy area with the dead end, all maps should have to tell you exactly where you are on the map. Otherwise, it's just crazy. Uh, okay, so that... Okay, so we're gonna turn back around. We're gonna find this damn area. Because there's like four guys in a row that would be easy as hell to take out. Mate. Oh, shit. So if I came from there... And I'm passing that door, then I just gotta go left. Yeah, I gotta go left. I'm pretty sure this is the right way. Yeah, 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 this looks right. This looks right, we're doing it. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on, that's not the right way at all. Yeah, that's where I came in at. Okay, so I need to go back here. Side B. Oh, hey, bud. What the fuck are you doing? Just give me the money. Just give me your money. Get that money. All right. Yeah, give me that shit. We're probably pretty close now. I feel like we've gotten uh, a lot of kills and a ton of money. No. <laughs> What's up, Ludfi? Uh, no, we got to the end boss and then realized that you pretty much need this thing called the uh, Super Bazooka to beat it. And uh, which means we need a lot more money. Uh, hold on one second. Map, map, map. Okay, yeah, this is just a stupid stock room. Um... 
So yeah, so it turns out there's a secret, there's this like area in the mall. I think this is technically a mall. Uh, there's this like area in the mall and um, there's an area inside the gun st no, inside the top floor where the only way you can get into that area is if you have uh, $30,000 and uh, we're going to get that so that uh, we can okay that's just a rental video um, so yeah we're going to get 30000 once we have 30000 we're going to be allowed into the secret area for high, uh, big spenders they say on there and uh, once we have that Then we're gonna buy the super bazooka and we'll be able to beat the boss. Sorry, my brain keeps like turning on for half a second. Um, but we're not running through the whole area again. We're just uh, getting a bit of money and then coming here and then going to this red area. And once we have the requisite amount of money, yeah. Oh, only need 3,000. Oh, oh, whoa. Yeah, check failed. All right, so I need a little bit more money. Um, and yeah, so then we could buy the Super Bazooka. I'm excited for it because I've never even seen it. Uh, but it should be amazing and it should be able to actually do damage on the final boss because our guns are doing almost nothing. Like, it's, it's insane to me how little damage we're doing on the boss with every hit. Uh, right now we have 2,000. So we're just trying to find the area where I can, well, 2,500 or so. Um, but right now we're trying to find the area where, uh, man, I wish, um, we're trying to find the area with the tackle box shop, like with the fish and bait shop. And I cannot for the life of me, uh, remember how the hell to get there and it's killing me. Wait, let me see. Do I, uh, map city area rats bar. I think it's. I think it's by Rat's Bar. I don't know what the hell the mid area is. No, we don't need to see the freezers. Jeez. All right, so market two. Wait, that's a room I haven't been in. Oh, that's dumbass. That's the room with the, uh, you have to have 30,000 or whatever. Maybe it's in the Bay Area? I don't think it's in the Bay Area. It's not in the apartment. It's definitely in the city area. And it's got to be from the mid area. So... Yeah, yeah. This is it. This is it. Now I just got to remember... How the hell exactly... Um, I mean, it might, I don't think it'll actually take that long if I find the area that I'm looking for. Cause there's like four zombies in a row. And if I kill them with weapons, then like they'll die very quickly, but it's just about, I cannot believe I can't remember how the hell to get there. Like that's so infuriating. Like it's completely blanked on me. Like I, I actually, you know what? No, we can go this way. Because there's two zombies in the room, and we can kill both of those right after, right one right after the other. And I know there's a big zombie too that I can use bazooka rounds on. So yeah, we should be able to actually get this fairly quickly. I think at the most, it'll probably be like 10 minutes. That's my guess. That's my conservative guess. Because we were up to like. We were up to like 40,000 at one time, like not even trying. Ah, oh, you missed, bitch. Ha, I'm surprised he didn't get me from that. I do wish this game had like a selling system where you could like find expensive shit and be able to sell it. That would be kind of cool. But that's literally a wish coming from being broke in the game. 
But I didn't even know that the freaking uh, napalm gun in the other one was in there. And like, there's also this completionist part of my head that's like, I need all the guns. <laughs> so yeah, there's two guys right in here and I should be able to just kill them over and over again. And these are bigger guys too, so they should be giving me more money as well. Like they got the monster heads. All right, so it's not gonna be solved with sumo. <laughs> It is going to be solved with Gatling gun. Yeah, you hear all that change? Oh, that's so much better. That's actually a lot of money. Alright, so this should actually be fairly quick, I feel. Because that's even more money than I thought it would be. I think the longest part is going to be collecting the money. Damn. Alright, so now I'm just going to burst in the door. So I ran in and I started blasting. Is what I'm going to do. Alright, if you guys can get close enough for me to kill you, thank you. Oh, look how quick that shit is. It's so much money, too. Oh, this, yeah, this is gonna be quick as shit. I promise. That is a promise from a person who will never let you down. I mean, I'll try to. Give me the coins! I thought there might have been one behind the table. But yeah, something that's annoying that started happening recently is I started finding spiders in the house, uh, which I have arachnophobia. I cannot stand spiders. Um, I do always try not to kill them, though, as much as I can, because I always feel like there's this pact or something that I have with them that as long as I don't really kill them when they're in my house, like, they won't really come and seek retribution from me. And, like land on me and shit while I'm sleeping and then try and bite me. So I always try to let as many spiders as possible survive. But there was this one by the window the other day that just started encroaching. Like, I'm cool with you guys, you know, just do your thing, spiders. Like, you can live in my house, uh, but just stick to your area, you know what I mean? Like, stay in the corners of the room. Like, the top corner is optimal for me. I'm okay with that. You can catch the flies. I appreciate it. Mosquitoes, all that. Awesome. You guys are great. But when you start building webs, and not just normal webs, like creepy funnel webs, like on shit that I use every day, I'm like, you're, you're breaking our pact right now. Because I was like, I'll leave you guys alone if you leave me alone, right? But when you don't leave me alone, that's a problem. And, uh... And then we're going to have to talk about it. And by talk about it, I mean I don't have to spray you with Lysol until it becomes slippery enough to where you can't climb fast enough to get on my hand or whatever you want to do to bite me to get me back for macing you, essentially. Um, yeah, it's not cool. It's just, just live where, you know, you're not in my way. But especially the spiders that build a web right in, like, a doorway, just, like, the balls the freaking balls of these spiders like you know what this was you you knew I was gonna leave you alone but no you just you had to be all up in my face about living here and then and then we have a problem and then I got I gotta do it I don't want to I really don't uh, but I'm gonna have to kill you because if I put you on the wall you're just gonna get back up you're gonna build another web somewhere really inconvenient because it's it's actually a personality problem of this spider. He's just super uppity and thinks he just runs shit. And he's like, I know this guy's scared of spiders. I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want. And I'm like, bitch, sit down. No, that's not happening. Not today, fucking spiders. But yeah, they're creepy as shit, but they're useful. So try not to kill them if you can. Uh, 
if one accidentally encroaches, I'll usually just like put him on a piece of paper and then put him on the wall and then let him like find a new home, especially if he's tiny, because I assume all tiny ones are babies. I don't see him that often because, you know, they know the deal, so they usually stay out of my way, but. Dude, we're gonna make this money so fucking quick. Is he dead yet? Worst camera angles of any game ever. I'm just gonna say that this game has garbage uh, camera angles. That's a fact, and if you don't believe me, just watch the gameplay. <laughs> I have no idea why the hell my nose is getting stuffy. I don't get it. I'm not sick. I don't have the coof. Spider season is the early days of autumn. This is their mating season, which is why you'll find spiders all over your house. It usually lasts for less than two months. If you're afraid of spiders, this season could be a nightmare for you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> That is a uh, uh, a very well put uh, short article, a shorticle, if you will. That's a good. One. And I feel like the ammo for the Gatling gun is cheap enough to where, like, if I kill enough of these guys with it, I definitely get more than 200 per kill. I know that, like, by a lot. All right, yeah, get back up. See what happens. You have to like accidentally. You have to, like, make the game accidentally give you a good camera angle. That's the only way it happens. They really do. Spiders are freaking dope. Like, all the bugs I hate more than spiders, even with arachnophobia, is most of the things that they kill. I cannot stand flies. Flies are the most annoying shit ever. Like, kill a million of them. I don't care. Flies are the worst. Um... I don't even know if they do anything useful in nature or not, but I know that they spread uh, disease and famine. Maybe not famine, but they definitely are gross as hell. And they go on to really gross shit and then they go on to your food. Like, what could be worse? And another thing, wasps. Wasps and hornets are pieces of shit. Like, you can kill them. They are useless to the environment. They're, like, one of the only bugs that do absolutely nothing for the environment. Maybe they kill a bug that might be out of, like, uh, out of control if they weren't around, but I doubt it. I remember watching some kind of documentary, and they were like, yeah, it's the only uh, insect that is completely useless other than stinging you. I'm like, great. Sounds sounds like uh, sounds like they're real pals, real useful. Oh 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 oh! See, they don't stand a chance. It's almost unfair. I say almost because the camera angle could still kill me, and then uh, fair enough. Oh 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 oh! Get your ass back down with your dress shirt or lab coat or whatever the hell you're wearing. All right, so we're gonna check our money in three more turns. And if you guys wanna make bets on what it is so far, uh, place them in the comments. Cause I'd like to see uh, how close you guys are. Before we got in this room, we had roughly 2,600, right? So if you wanna guess how much I'm up to now, just with the coins from killing these two guys over and over again, uh, yeah, just put that in the chat, and then we'll see how close you guys are. <clears throat> oh, yeah, when their webs are too visible, definitely. That's what I mean, like, the one spider I dealt with was a funnel spider, so, like, it was on the window, and it had this, like, crazy tunnel going right on top of the, uh, you know, like, where you would unlock the windows. So it was, like, everything about it was just, oh, Bro, you're being so extra right now. I can't, I can't deal with this. Like I touched it and everything. I was like, oh, oh. super gross. I need to get these damn keyboards out of my way. What the hell? I have like one keyboard out for my drawing pad and then one keyboard out for my computer. 
Uh, Sean, could you, uh, report that piece of shit? I hate bots. Bots are the worst. They're dicks and they're not even people. So I can't hurt their feelings. I hate bots. Mm. Uh, ban girls 18 whatever bullshit uh, scam website that is also uh, harboring illegal stuff and probably uh, will hack your computer and delete your system 32. That's what I'm told. That's what I hear. That's what I heard from all the boys. All the boys, they told me that. Oh my god, so stuffy. <laughs> Damn it. Sorry, guys. I apologize if my voice is ass right now. So, something you might want to know is uh, I'm working on setting up a Redbubble store uh, where I'm going to be making Dreamcast themed t shirts. Fuck. Damn it. ADHD, right? <laughs> um, so, what just happened is uh, so I refilled the juice, and then these are the coils in the cotton, right? And then, without actually putting the top back on, I went and pressed the button and put it to my lips and basically tasered myself. That was super schmott. But yeah, the shirt I'm currently wearing, the I love my Sega Dreamcast inside and out shirt will be on there. And also, I'm working on a... Uh, anime chibi style um uh ill bleed shirt as well so that's gonna be awesome when it's done wait do what now oh on youtube oh yeah yeah bro always hanging out on twitter but, or t fucking twitter always hanging out on twitch but you know the spammers they love that youtube I would just say this, whoever designed the bot, you are bad and you should feel bad and your bot is terrible because again, Google Images exists. I don't know why the hell anybody would have to go to a website for that. That is just dumb. And also like with all the sites that are available too, why would they go to the stupid idiotic one they saw on some gaming channel like spammed in there? like? Oh yeah, I want to go to that one. It probably doesn't have ads. Yeah? You think you think it won't be ads and you'll just you'll click a video and then... Or it'll be like a thumbnail. You click the thumbnail and then it brings you to a video that's not the video. And then that just brings up an ad. Pretty sure it's one of those. Given that they're spamming a YouTuber. Yo, what's up, Dylan? Oh yeah, I just, I just tased myself with this. I, uh, I refilled the juice, right? And then you have the coils, and I didn't put the cap back on, and then I turned it on and pressed my lips with it. I tased my mouth. It was pretty swell. The lip was. The lip was swollen, probably. Oh, but Dylan, you also missed out on the fact that I'm working on uh, some t-shirts for... Uh, dreamcasthub.com and this is one of them I love my dreamcast Sega dreamcast inside and out and then it has like a dreamcast with the top off on there that's one that I sold before but I will be bringing it back uh, yeah it, it's, it was pretty stupid but also pretty funny um, and right now I'm working on a uh, chibi anime style ill bleed shirt uh, which I'm very happy with so far and it's gonna be dope as hell It's gonna be like all four characters from Illbleed, but like redrawn in an anime or like chibi style 
and it's gonna look very very cool I already got Randy started I wonder if I could actually show you guys this so yeah it's it's like started I'm working on it I I'm getting used to using GIMP because I no longer have uh, Photoshop on that computer because Photoshop is hella expensive. And GIMP actually has an ink pen mode, which is pretty good, but just getting used to the different controls. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm, I, I've actually, I haven't drawn in a while, but like recently I've started drawing like a lot and it's just like I never even stopped. It just feels so good to draw. But I feel like that's what that's a way I can provide something to you guys that, you know, you'll enjoy and can take externally out of uh, me and my content and stuff like that. So that'll be pretty cool. Oh, and a uh, quick update on what we're doing right now is we're making a million dollars uh, very quickly, actually. Um, and I probably killed these guys like six times so far. And I was asking people if they wanted to guess how much money I had because we haven't checked yet. It might be a whole lot. It might be not a whole lot. But if you guys remember at all, when we fought that kid in, uh, Elemental Gimmick Gear, like a hundred times without losing once that was pretty crazy y'all uh y'all were there for it and that was awesome but uh this should not take as long as that for sure this should take a, a lot less time <laughs> oh also uh doing a new lighting situation i have uh a highlight no key light no side light yeah profile light that, that part's pretty new and cool. I like that. And it gives like a warmness. And then this light is the cool light. It's wearing sunglasses. No, I actually have to redo the entire thing. Uh, that's what it was. Um, like, it won't even connect on my Hue app for my phone. So that's why it stopped working out of nowhere. I've actually been manually changing the colors uh, whenever you uh, put a color in, but even that stopped working tonight, so I'm like, all right, uh, yay. So I'm going to have to spend uh, tomorrow and uh, Thursday fixing it. It just sucks because it's, it's, it's so difficult, all because I have an old Hue Bridge. Like, I hate saying hubridge because every time I say it, it just sounds too much like hubris. And it's, you realize it's very dumb. Holy shit. We're at $10,000. Yes, I knew this would not take long. I was right as hell. We're actually allowed in that room, but I think I want to get enough money to buy the thing. And that was after only like six or seven times. So we're doing great, actually. I think I only need like 14,000 for the uh, bazooka. Sorry, the uh, super bazooka. Anyways, how you doing tonight, Dylan? Got a bit of diet it's protein thing yeah it's a protein thing all right where did i save or not i don't think i did i'm good i'm gotcha. good today was uh incredibly busy um i am held back from releasing the ill bleed video for a little bit longer which sucks but, uh, it is what it is. I just wish I was done it a month ago. That would have been very beneficial. Oh shit, I could just go in there too. Nice. 
Okay, could y'all get off me? Thank you. No, 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 no. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh, let me get the fuck out the door. Oh, oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, you dirty rat. I'm pretty sure we have plenty of, uh, yeah. Sandwich? Sandwich. But yeah, I can't wait. I cannot wait to see the freaking Super Bazooka. I'm stupid excited for that. And finally, the napalm gun. Like, yes. That's going to be amazing. And then we get to beat the shit out of this boss. By the way, do you guys have any input on what the next game should be? Um, like, think about it. Like, think... Super long and hard. Uh, yeah, just think. Uh, spend time thinking. You get your ass off of me, I will blast you bitch into Tuesday. Catch you next Tuesday. And the other thing I was thinking of is having, like, maybe Friday and Saturday being the continual game. Like, as an example, Friday and Saturday would be like this game, right? And then maybe Tuesdays having like a random game or one that you guys choose, you know, each week or whatever. Because I do have a ton of games. Gears of War. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I don't, I don't even think I have that on any system. Good game, though. But, um... It's not one that I've played a lot of. Like, I remember playing through half of the campaign with my friend because he had it. Is there a Dreamcast game you can think of that you might want to see? Because the only other uh, system, eventually, I will be integrating Switch as well. Because Dreamcast is Bay, but Switch is my side bitch. And that bitch is nice. Yeah, I love the Switch so much. It's, I literally, I made an article on my site about how the Switch was the new Dreamcast, right? And people lost their shit. Like, they lost their mind about it. And, like, my only actual point, and, like, one of my points was kind of a joke, the fact that, like, the controller has a screen in it, right? But it's actually, like, a TV screen or whatever or like a portable like full ass gaming system but like the library on it like there's a bunch of games that were originally on Dreamcast that are on Switch now uh, the Switch is very original uh, very different from all the uh, what all the other companies are offering um, the big difference would be it's definitely not top of the line graphics wise the way the Dreamcast was but ton of Sega titles on it. Like, the first games I got for it were, like, Puyo Puyo and uh, Bomberman. Like, of course, and Zelda, obviously. But... Oh, true. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, so you got a lot to see, actually. There's so much cool shit. Um, what's cool is Code Veronica X, it, there is a version... Yo, what's up, Gentle on James? How you doing? How you doing tonight, man? Uh, there's a, um, what the hell was it? Uh, there's a version of Code Veronica X that's Japanese that you can get a translated version uh, in English. So that's pretty dope. But yeah, General and James, we are currently uh, killing and getting a lot of money. Um, uh, and we're gonna be rich and we're gonna buy a super bazooka. And then we're going to beat the boss because yesterday, or yesterday, Saturday, I was getting my ass handed to me uh, by this effing boss because I did not have the right weapon. Uh, none of my weapons, almost at all, affected him. So what we need is a super bazooka. And for that, we need 3,000 to get in the room. And then we need 14,000 to buy it. So we're actually getting pretty close now. And we've only been killing these guys for a little bit. Uh, dogs. 
Railgun, do we have a lot of that? Yeah, I'll use the bow gun on his ass. I think it's only like four shots from that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's like five shots. Eh, that'll probably go pretty quickly, actually. <laughs> I might need to get more minigun ammo. The minigun is the best. But yeah, also, uh, we were talking about shitty little spiders now that they're coming back into our houses and how you should not kill them. <laughs> Even though everything in our brain tells us to do so. Because they're heckin' useful. I feel like I never kill bees or spiders. And I hate them both. I forgot I didn't have my minigun. Oh. I wonder if I can kill him before he kills me. <laughs> Not bad. Just don't get back up. You bitch. I told you one thing. Don't get back up. That's all I said. And this asshole's like, well, I'm just gonna be over here. I'm just gonna be swiping at you. No big deal. Calm down. You know, some people like to be swiped at. Swipe left. Swipe right. You know. Do both them shits. Oh, uh, definitely dogs. I mean, I don't know. His gut's a bit much, but he's got kind of that like, sh like uh, actual strongman body, where it's like he's probably got abs under that shit. I'll put it as if dogs has abs, I would go for his definitely. If not, maybe one of these monsters. Because they're pretty fucking jacked. Look at those fucking arms, bro. Imagine I have to do like six different workouts per set of biceps. And you have three sets of biceps. That would be a rough day. I wouldn't want to do that. But like, if you had four or six arms or whatever, even if you look like a freak, nah, nobody would be able to do anything about it. You'd just be like, yeah, I'm army. I don't care. Army of one. Armed and dangerous. Uh, what item did I need? Oh, yeah, that's what it was. I wanted to change to Elliot so I can use that, um... The dopest weapon in the game! The stun rod is nuts! Did you guys see the Iron Fist, by the way? I'm gonna show you the Iron Fist real quick. I only used him for a very... Oh, shit. You better heal him real quick. Because I'm about to get scrappy with these bitches. Drink that shit and get in there. <laughs> Get in the damn room and beat their ass. Alright, watch this shit. Dude! I love this weapon. No, no! Punch him! Punch him! Alright, I'm gonna switch weapons because this shit is not as good as the stun rod. It looks very cool, but it's definitely not as good. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, I do not trust you to be dead, man. Not when I have this little bit of health. Yeah, I mean, Elliot's in good shape, too, though. It's just his arms. They're a little skinny for me. He's got no chest! I mean, he might. He's wearing a bulletproof vest. I have no fucking idea. Give me the coin! I hate when coins wind up behind shit and then you can't get them. Hot dog! Hot dog! 
One thing I really wish I did in this game is buy a lot of steak at the lab. That definitely would have been like the most useful shit. Beat this damn thing. You just can't. I said you can't. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. Just take it. Where you at? Yeah, get back here, bitch. How are you not dead? Die. Alright, good. Kill team. Team kill. Annihilation. Double kill. Triple kill. Kill-tacular. Man, I miss Halo on 360. That shit was amazing. Xbox 360 was definitely my favorite time in gaming online. Everybody had microphones. There was a lot of shit talking, but also a lot of cooperation. And it was just, it was a very, very good time uh, for playing online. Even shit like Uno, like everybody was online for- Oh fuck, I'm getting out- Fuck! No fucking way! You bitch! I do! I do have aminals. Actually, I can get my panda real quick. Give me one sec. Figured the game had to boot up anyway. I'll grab my pander. <gasps> Is that the pander bear? Oh. Oh. Say hi, panda. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and she's got a little flower. She's got a little flower for extra cuteness. She's freaking adorable. I love this dog. I love you, panda. She's so cute. She's so cute. Okay. Suck it wow. And she'll actually just chill here on my lap too. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, let me fix this. Oh. One uh, really big downfall of having two keyboards uh, on your desk is you constantly will be typing on the wrong one. No idea why, but it literally always happened. No, I don't have any cats. Um, yeah, my wife kind of wants a cat, but I kind of want um, my furniture to not get destroyed. Um, so it's funny. She is not any of the breeds you would think she is. Like, as far as... Um, So I know she looks kind of like a Chihuahua with a Pomeranian or something, but she's literally like Shih Tzu and uh, like Maltese or something and Poodle and like she doesn't look like any of them. And the most insane part is she was the only puppy. Uh, she was the runt of the litter. And that's kind of also why she has like two cherry eyes. Um, but she... Uh, she was the runt of the litter 
And, um... Yeah, she wound up looking nothing like any of her siblings. Like, all of her siblings and her parents look just like regular-ass Shih Tzus. Like, whatever you think of in your mind when you hear the word Shih Tzu, that's what her parents looked like. And her siblings. And then she came out looking like she does. <laughs> like a freaking cartoon. And uh, there's a lot of ways she was built incorrectly. Like, her jaw doesn't line up. She used to have two buck teeth, which were hilarious. Like, they would sit over her front teeth and you would see them when she looked up. Uh, then she lost those from sneezing and smashing her face into the ground when she sneezes. Um, she's a special puppy. <laughs> but she's amazing. And uh, she's an incredibly loving dog. Also, she's insanely tiny. She's like 16 pounds or something stupid like that. Maybe less. Like, she's definitely the smallest dog I've ever owned. Get all these coins. I can limp around with this, that's fine. Oh, 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 oh. This gun is so good. <laughs> It's kind of ridiculous how good this gun is. It's just like aimbot nonstop. You guys remember aimbots on AOL? Anyone? Am I the only one old enough? <laughs> AOL Instant Messenger. Aim. We used to go into like chat rooms and mess with people. Like we would go to really serious political discussion uh, chat rooms. And, um,. I would do like Pokemon battles using like the chat bot. Yeah, she just like, and then just like, it's it's only really when it's not on a carpet that it's a problem. Uh, Elliot. All right, we got the stun rod. Wait, actually, let me heal him real quick, because I don't want to switch to him and have him not healthy. Then he'll get his ass kicked. Oh, God. But, yeah, she's still super cute, even with the, even without her front teeth. Panda! 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 Love you. Oh, actually, let me let her out of And she's basically a cat, uh, just for the record, as far as like... No! What do you mean it says it's Friday? Are you talking about on Twitch? Because Twitch is asshole. Just in terms of layout and stuff. Like, it doesn't allow me to change the stream name from, uh, from OBS. It's just like, you'll name one stream. Thank you. Yes, I agree. I, lo I love that dog. Um, who the hell is it? Channel, no. Uh, creator dashboard. That's what I'm looking for. Manage stream. Edit stream info. It's Tuesday, my dudes. Done. Yeah, we fixed it, everyone. No problems on stream ever again. Oh, oh, are you going to start shit too? Get your ass over here. I have enough ammo to kill your ass. 
Get back up, I dare you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get that mo Give me that. Man, I wish there was, like, upgrades you can get for, like, magnetic, like, magnets to just draw the money towards you. I love when games add that. That's one of my favorite upgrades for any game where you have to collect a lot of coins. I think it's one of the best ones. Alright, I'm gonna save real quick now that I'm doing a, a little bit more risky shit. I'm gonna be using, uh... Just regular weapons. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna save over this one. And then it'll tell us how much money we have. Nice! Alright, yeah, we're almost there. But let me change guys, because I need to use the bat. Let's see what my health's at. You bitch. <laughs> I was so hoping he was just full health and I wouldn't have to do any of this. Uh, what's everybody's favorite video game of all time? Go. Get back up, I dare you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Give me that money. I'm always just curious what everybody's uh, interests are as far as that. Because, like, when you ask, like, oh, favorite survival horror game, there's not, like, a lot of choices. But I feel like what's your favorite game overall uh, tells you a lot more about somebody's general tastes and interests in games. I gotta eat again! Damn! Let's hope this hot dog heals me. Let's hope it heals me soul. It won't, though. Get your bitch ass back here. Please block him. Block the body. You bitch. <laughs> Dumb ass. Oh man, he just walks into that last hit every single time. You gotta be dead now. How are you not dead? Okay. I'm hoping that shot was like the last one. Ooh, both solid choices. Yeah, for me, uh, that would be Mars Matrix. Definitely. It's the best shmup. And if you disagree, that's fine. Um, you know, I've been wrong before. I'm not wrong right now, but I've been wrong before. Uh, and I know what it feels like. I understand uh, being wrong. And um, if you don't think that Mars Matrix is the best shmup, that's fine. You know, it's just time to kind of take a step back, reflect, uh, think about, you know, what part of your thought, thought process might have gone wrong. Uh, for you to think uh, something like Giga Wang is better. And then we can uh, start the process of forgiving. You know? I can start to try and forgive you for thinking such a ridiculous thing. You know? I'm just a, a really, really uh, forgiving person, so. But yeah, I freaking love Mario 64. Mario 64 was like the first really big game that I played where there's like multiple stages and like all these different areas to go back to and I mean I guess uh, Symphony of the Night was that too? Well no I didn't even, I only played Symphony of the Night for like 8 minutes uh, on my friend's PS1 before I actually bought it for Xbox 360 and oh my god it's all I did that game was the only thing I played after I got that for like a month and a half. Of uh, Symphony of the Night? That's freaking nuts. 
What's crazy is uh, I actually had five years off of life. Like, I, I didn't have to do anything for five years. I basically sat around, uh, ate a bunch of food, got really fat. Uh, I was on uh, painkillers at the time because I had uh, three herniated discs in my back and two bulging in my neck. And, um... Oh, God. Run, run, run. Run, you bitch, run. Oh, my God. How did I not notice I was so low? And um, because of all that, I gained a ton of weight. But, yo, the amount of time I had to play video games as an adult... Whew. She... That shit was... Shit was fun. I put... I had three different characters in Oblivion. Each was over 300 hours. It was insane. Like, how much friggin' Oblivion I played. And also Symphony of the Night. And I literally... And I also had a nice bank account that had a uh, oh shit mars matrix in mint did you bought it right you did buy it the mint copy please tell me you bought it but yeah it was literally non-stop video game playing uh for like five years and drawing I, th I think i did a lot of drawing but i was home all day i didn't you know have any responsibilities because i had money at the time uh, there was disability coming and stuff and like video games <laughs> literally the only downside was uh, weighing 350 eventually that part sucked uh, food yeah but you need to eat mother hell yeah that's good F dude freaking Mars Matrix shot the hell up so actually it'll bleed Dude, Elbleed shot up to like 300 bucks or something now. It's like literally crazy to me. And it just, the, my biggest regret ever is not buying all these Dreamcast games when the Dreamcast, like, stopped being carried by stores because so many stores didn't care. They were just like, yeah, whatever game it doesn't, because they weren't special yet, right? Like they didn't, they didn't really know how rare they were or anything else. It was just like, yeah, here's a bunch of games like 25 bucks for Mars Matrix and like Cannon Spike is like 15 bucks. I missed out on all that. All of it. And now because everybody has like a collector's mindset from day one, there will never be a time where Switch games are not expensive. I don't think that'll ever happen. There's always the switch tax, and I wound up paying it all the time. I paid uh, $79 for a Japanese uh, a Japanese tank game where you play as tank anime girls, because it was based on an anime called Girls und Panzer. And uh, super dope game, really cool. It's like literally an action tank game where you can do drifts and shit and still shoot and it's the anime is really good too so you should check that out if you get the chance girls und panzer damn how'd i get out of that without getting hit once that was crazy i'm probably definitely gonna get hit this time oh you idiot stupid oh damn oh no oh no this is all going terribly now See, the trick is you gotta hit them both at the same time. That's where it's at right there. I think only a few more times of this and then we should have enough money. But yeah, this definitely reminds me of the uh, elemental gimmick gear where we had to uh, beat up that kid a hundred times. That, that brings back the member berries. Let's see, how much money do we have? Yes. Oh, hells yeah. Now we just need a little bit more to buy the ammo. I'm excited. Oh no. You fuckers. Well, I did just save, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Suck it, game. I saved. You can't hurt me now, bitch. Got him. Got this fucking game. Sucker. Uh, me. 
maybe turn both lights up. Ooh, ooh, I got a nice, I got a nice harsh light now. Yeah, yeah, looking moody. Bitch, looking real moody, you know? Am I grizzled detective? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Socket one. Socket two. Me. Yes. Uh, please load the file where I'm fucking balling. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Don't you dare load that file where I'm broke as shit. Oh, I'd cry like a little bitch. Especially if my save file from friggin' Mars Matrix went away. Because I've been working on that for years. Oh, you dumb shit. You did not just do that, you idiot. I went out there and didn't heal at all. I didn't learn anything from the last time. Uh, yeah, like literally, I have my Mars Matrix save file on five different VMUs. Five. Five. Because I'm just, I'm not chancing it. Because there's, I have one thing left to unlock in the game and I still have not unlocked it. Uh, the uh, different background color, never found it. Or never got it. It's just so much money you need to get. Even when I spend time just farming the friggin' uh, coins or whatever, or tokens, I forget what the hell they're called. Um, I think it's got like an M logo on it, but... Uh, yeah, even when I'm farming them on level 4 on uh, B mode, it's like, still, it takes forever. Uh, this game, maybe. Only because, I know I've made a few mistakes. <laughs> uh, and now that I know exactly where to go and everything to do, it would I'd probably get through this game in like... Six, seven hours, maybe? At least up to where I currently am, you know? But that would be after about an hour of tears. Ember burr. Ember burr. Bitch, let me control the color. Ooh, yeah, going with that pink light. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. How about here? I'm just dropping a ton of shit off of my tables. No, bitch. Change. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. Dun dun dun. All right, give me one sec. Yeah, I think that's gooder. I think that's a lot gooder. We did it, everyone. We got gooder. Get gooder, get shot. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, I know I downloaded the map. I was there, bud. Come on, come on, come on! <laughs> Let me save you, bitch. This game definitely has a problem with uh, allowing you to be within the vicinity of something. And if you press A already, then you have to leave the vicinity of it to go back and press A again. But yeah, I think this game I might start over just because I absolutely must see the end. Oh my god, would you guys? Please CTFO. How'd I hit him right there? Oh, I'm like, where the fuck is he? Boom! Love that last shot. Okay, good, he's dead. Half of the time that I spend, I think it's just running around the room trying to find all of the coins. Excuse me. Because they just, they disperse like crazy. I'm 
Small hassy. Yeah, bitch. Do 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 do. All right, yeah, I don't need to save again. Oh, you fucker. All right, maybe I should have. We're just gonna get the fuck out of my way. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, we're gonna try that shit again. That was terrible. Dear Lord. That was embarrassing. I don't know how anybody could survive that. You know, looking like a bitch. Like a real bitch, Elliot. 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 Oh shit. Oh, you missed, bitch. Yeah, now you gotta suck it. <laughs> it's just like a pinata. I love hitting them when they're already down, and it's like right before the coins come out. It always, it's very pinata like. I think I would. <laughs> yes, I agree with that. I'm I think I think uh I would only ever uh, stream an hour of tears for tips and super chats. <laughs> I'd be like, for every thimble I fill with my tears, I better see a donation on my Patreon. Every thimble. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Hell yeah. I love when they just walk into it. Damn. Okay. Wow, that was delayed as hell. But yeah, I definitely think uh, we've been grinding for sure, and uh, we're almost there. I'm just getting a bit more because I know that there's going to be a ton of ammo that I want to buy and will need to buy for this friggin' final boss, because this, this boss is so ridiculous. Damn it, it's so ridiculous. It's like I got rid of half of its health bar, and then it turns into a different monster that I can't use the same attack on anymore. Not a different monster, but it falls to the floor and all of its attack patterns change. Seriously, right? Why do I ex why do I keep expecting you to reload the sword by jerking it off? <laughs> yeah, like the, the, just super no more heroes vibes and the coins do not help. Like the coins make it seem way I feel like. Now, I might be wrong, but I feel like uh, they may have gotten a bit of inspiration from this game, because this was this was definitely the first one. So, with the coins and the and the the lightsaber and everything else, I'm just saying this game already seems like a Suda 51 game. But I feel like you know they were like, eh, we're just gonna take this little bit of inspiration. And it's weird, I've never heard the comparison before. And until I started using this, um, this sword so much, I never even really made the connection. And then, like, I started using the sword and I'm like, holy shit, this is so much like that. It's crazy. Obviously, like, completely different gameplay and everything else, but, um, I loved all the mini games in that game. Like mowing the lawn and like all these weird arbitrary uh, mini games are freaking great. Am I gonna figure this out? Am I gonna solve the uh, pause menu debacle? Jeez. Every single time. All right, let's see how much money we have. We're gonna do it the easy way by saving. Damn it, I feel like I yeah. just saved. Okay, yeah. We're just gonna go up to 20,000 and then we're going to the special room. Oh. Yes. I love when they get hit with the back shot. 
It's like, I didn't even mean to hit you. Yeah, no, you're not, you're not, you're not doing this shit here. Come on, calm down. Pinata! <laughs> this is also like a, uh, you know, a remaster of Viva Pinata. Anybody ever remember that game that no one ever bought? Viva Pinata, I don't think anyone really cared about. At least, I know I didn't. I just, I couldn't give a shit about that game. And I kept seeing it on my Xbox 360. And it kept going, hey, you should download this game. It's like lots of fun. There's like pinatas and shit. I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't want it. I really, I could not care less. I always love when people say I could care less. Cause it's like, yeah, but that's, that's not a helpful phrase for what you wanted to say. Oh God, please die. Okay. Ooh. Ooh -wee. That was close. All right, we have the money. Now we can go buy shit. Was there really a show for Viva? I mean, I believe it. Yeah, they made an emoji movie, so like, it's it's unfortunately believable. I mean, they made the emoji movie and the Last Jedi, so I mean, they could pretty much make anything. Items, uh, food. Uh, I would like a, a dog. A dog. Would you like a hot dog? I would like a hot dog. How many hot dogs would you like? I would like uh, two hot dogs. Here are your two hot dogs. I don't know what accent that was. Saving the data. Please wait. Please wait. All right, we saved our shit. Now we're going to the super special shopping mall and we're getting that good shit. And these bitches are not going to ruin my stride. Get the fuck out. Guys are messing me up. Oh God. But the billboards will <laughs> somehow. Oh my god, of all the ways you could have gone, bro. I blame him for that. That's what I'm gonna say. Why do I keep turning around? Oh shit. That was a weird ass glitch. People like, damn, that's a weird ass glitch. Hello, market. How are you today? Hello, market. Uh, there it is. There it is. Let's get in that rich bitch room. Bargain floor. Congratulations. I don't know why all the iguanas everywhere. I don't get it. Check my money, bitch. I have way more. Oh shit, I could probably go to the bank. Oh my god, I can definitely go to the bank and get way more money. If no one ever bought Viva Pinata, why was there a secret? Uh, I mean, you know, like money, like they just, you know, they hate it. <laughs> I feel like some games just have so much financial backing that it doesn't even matter. And they're just like, yeah, just make another one. They probably, they probably didn't spend a lot to make it. Maybe hey, I already have the Ray sword. Stop trying to sell me shit. I already got. Yeah, bastard. Oh my god, there's a laser gun. That shit looks so cool. There's a missile launcher and the napalm launcher, and there's so much more expensive than I thought they would be. Alright, so it's not even called a super bazooka. What the hell? I <laughs> see you at ill bleed. <laughs> nice. Um if it was just a black congratulations screen and the words see you at ill bleed. I would be sad. 
also happy though because we're coming back for this gun i need to see what it do um but uh also happy because they mentioned it'll bleed <laughs> Wait, how many of these missiles do I have? Wait, is this for the m missile launcher? Wait, is that the fucking missile launcher I already had? Do I just have two of them now? Hold on, did I screw up? Let me check this shit. Elliot. Salamander magazine. What the fuck? 80 millimeter. Okay, well, let's see if dogs have something new. Launcher. Okay, good. Oh, okay, good. That's okay. I was worried, man. I, I was going to be so pissed. Box of railgun ammo. All right, these are both 200. I think the railgun ammo is probably going to be the most useful. No, actually, I just need to buy more of that bazooka shit. Duh. Damn, that money went quick as hell. Wowza. Alright, how many do I have? Let's check my dogs. 18, mm, might need a few more than that, but we'll try it. We'll try and go to the boss real quick. After I friggin' save, obviously. Oh shit, now I gotta remember how the hell to get there. I think I remember how to get there. I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think I remember how to get there. We should be able to get there. Yeah. We got a half an hour. We got a half an hour to get there. Grade A bullshit. All right, uh, okay, yeah, now I know where I'm going. Do, 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 do. Ah, fuck off. <laughs> got him. All right, so yeah, I know where I'm going. Guys, we're good. I am, I've got a sense of direction like a steel trap, which is known for its sense of direction. Fuck you. You're not even a boss, you bitch. Why is he gotta swipe me? All I'm saying it's a it's a real dick move. A real dick move. I don't need to go there. I don't know why I thought I needed to go there. No, I know what that is. That's not what I need. I need this one. No, I need this one. My direction is flawless. No, fucking damn it! That is the worst thing that could have happened after I said that. Son of a bitch, man. So far, every door I tried was wrong except the open fucking doorway. What the hell? Okay. Nailed it, guys. We did it. Beautiful cut print. Beautiful, guys. God. Hey, I have a great sense of direction. Goes out the same door he came in. Damn it. Let me get in this door. What the fuck? What the fuck? Whoo. 
Ooh, my direction is going very well. I know just where I'm at. There's a big boss in here, so. I gotta get ready for that shit. All right. Bah! The boss is a hallway. The boss is me inside the hallway. Oh, fuck you. I didn't even know there was... Ugh, I didn't even notice that was like a guy. way gonna be easier? I think this way might be easier. The capsule on board only holds two. Then you two get in. Why? Dogs is not the best swimmer, and you're. Oh wait, this is the only way right now. We'll wait for you. No, don't work on destroying that pump. Oh, Done. good. Now, now I can get a bunch of extra rocket launcher ammo. Come on. I'm counting on you, hon. Unskippable. <laughs> Look at that. You're a right. family reunion. It's Shut a miracle. Up. Unskippable. It's a seven the same. It's a miracle. I'll turn on the switch. I'll turn on the switch. Get some Smash Brothers started. Now they go in this lap of luxury, friggin' just strolling on down, and I gotta run there. Fair? I don't think so. Time to drop. Actually, uh, time to get the hell up on the sides. Okay, we can't do that yet. Yup. Yeah, we've been here. So we're going back to the boss to fight his ass now that we have actual weapons. Get the hell out of the water! It's coming right for you! Alright. So now we just gotta see the items down here. And if there's an item, I'll stop and kill the thing. If there's no item, I don't give a shit about killing the thing. No item. Okay, yeah, no item. Oh, shit! Why did I jump in the friggin' water? Get out of the water, dickhead! Oh my god, get out, get out, get out, get out, please, get out! Oh, Jesus, get out. Get out! What are you doing? Get the hell out of the water! Oh my god. Please get the fuck out of the water! What the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out of the water! Jesus, what the fuck, dude? Kill me! That shit was... Oh my god! <laughs> I want to murder someone right now. That was the most annoying shit I think I've ever dealt with in any game ever. Oh, get the fuck out of here, dude. There's no way you're attacking me right now, you piece of shit. What a fucking asshole. People with anime fa animal faces is equally scary. I agree. Uh, they are terrifying. Oh, wait. No, the plasma gun's really good against the guy. Damn it. Uh, weapon. Elliot. Handgun. Yes, I have plenty of handgun ammo. Oh, did that already kill him? They only killed one of them, though. I'm definitely going to be killing both these bitches because I do not want to deal with having to heal. How are you not dead, dude? Thank you. It's like he literally heard me complaining at him. Alright, where's the damn item? Oh, it's all the way over there? Well, time to go get it. <laughs> Wait, so furries are scary? Of course. Jeez. I wonder if that thing can actually hurt me. 
if I go all the way to the bottom. Get it, get it. Get the damn thing. Thank you. I mean, they can be scary. Not all of them are. Some furries are very cool, like uh, YMS. He has like the YouTube channel, yourmoviesucks.org or whatever. <laughs> Probably. I only said some of them are scary. Which, in earnest, is true no matter what group uh, we're talking about. In any group, some of them can be scary. So I'm actually in the clear. I did alright, I think. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. I don't ever mind people shit posting. That's fine. <laughs> Dude, this is a perfect angle right here. Could you imagine if somebody in chat was like, this is ridiculous, I'm out. I can't watch this anymore. You guys are not welcoming enough to first. Such a freaking dead eye, man. His his accuracy is unlike any other. Unless the thing's underneath of him, then he can't aim worth a shit. Okay, good. He's dead. Okay, I killed them all. Ew, what's on top of him? That grosses me out for some reason. Gross me out. Oh, I hate that thing so much. God, it's so creepy. Oh, just please jump back in the water like a dipshit. Dipshit is thy name. Okay, we're, we're back on the way. Son of a bitch. If you don't get out of this water right now, mister, you are not playing your Super Nintendo. Get out of the water. Oh my god, please get out of the water. Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard to get out of the fucking water? Just let me out. Get out, you piece of shit. Get out of the fucking water. Oh my god, I want to murder him. Agreed. I think that's a statement we can all get behind. Yeah, jump out of the water, I'll shoot you in the face. That's what's happening right here. Wait, are you even giving me anything? Or is there any reason at all for me to kill you? I love the sound of the bullets going into the water. It's so like deadened. Where it's like, doof, doof, doof. shit. But anyway, you don't ever understand. There's like, whenever I hear, but anyway, uh, I think of that song. Whenever I hear somebody say, this is, and then they pause. In my head, I'm like, the story of a girl who got a river to jail. Oh, There's like certain phrases that the second I hear them, all I think about is that song. It's the only thing uh, that will play in my head. Do I do I have to kill him? Do I have to? Is he dead? I waste my bullets. I waste my bullets. Oh no! You turned around, stupid. For some reason, uh, the game lately keeps turning me around uh, when I enter an air. Get, get the fuck up there. Why is it so difficult? 
there's like a really weird um like barrier versus like activated switch to get up on this little sidewalk here and uh it's kind of ridiculous yo what's up brandon how the hell did i piss you off what did i do what have i done i need to know because i didn't do shit probably most likely what haven't you done jeez oh man i could just list it forever all the things you did wrong oh my god i could just whew, i could go on you know like pff, it's just too much to name it's too much to even go over like it would take way too much time to even mention all the things but there's so many that i i just don't have time to mention it all you know <laughs> you were supposed to be the chosen one You were supposed to bring balance, not break it. That's the phrase. Not even close to what I said. M more that. Wait, is there shit down there? Are you gonna give me something? Or are you a useless piece of shit fish? Oh, you ain't giving me a damn thing. I'm not wasting ammo on you, bitch. Get out of here. Please. <laughs> I really... I really do wish Obi-Wan said that, where he was like, Just saying. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, you're, you're supposed to be the guy. I'm just... I'm just letting you know we're all, we're all pretty disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I have the high ground. <laughs> Damn it, that was me. But fossil fuels is so delicious. I love fossil fuels. Why does it keep turning me around? <laughs> Bro, me and fossil fuels are like, we're tight. We're super tight. <laughs> I have the high ground. Uh, give me the full map. Now downloading. <laughs> there are so many quotable things from that movie, it's crazy. I think the memes were one of the best parts that came out of that movie. Now, when you say you got to watch some Star Wars, are you talking about like good stuff? Like what we were talking about? Or are you talking about Disney Star Wars? Wait, what in the fuck just happened? What just actually happened? Is this a new area? This is a new area, right? I'm so confused. There's no way I ended up back in the same spot. No fucking way. I'm I'm honestly blown away by this shit. Oh yeah, dude, the, the prequel trilogies are like a godsend compared to the new ones. Holy crap. Like, I always kind of liked the prequel trilogies. I never really had a problem. I was like right at the right age where I could just enjoy them without like thinking about it too much. Now, the biggest missed opportunity of all, of everything that happened in the prequel trilogies is not making Jar Jar Binks a Sith Lord 
That was the biggest mistake George Lucas ever made. I'm just going to say it. See, the thing is, if Jar Jar was a Sith Lord, you would have liked him. You definitely would have liked him. He would have probably been your favorite character and best subverted expectation ever in a movie in movie history, period. In anything. Because, I don't know if you know this, but in episode one, Jar Jar was supposed to be a Sith Lord, right? And pulling all these strings while acting like an idiot. And if you watch the movie, knowing that and keeping that in mind, you'll actually see times where Jar Jar Binks uses the force to make uh, Padme's uh, maiden speak and say specifically what he wants her to say. And then, um, and then, uh, um, the hell's it called? Uh, yeah. And all the things that he does to screw over, um, the rebellion or whatever, not, rebe would that technically be the rebels? Regardless, to screw over, uh, the good guys. Um, yeah, there's like a lot of little hints in there. But what happened was everybody hated Jar Jar Binks, right? So because of how much everyone hated him, George Lucas changed his mind and he decided that he wasn't going to do the Sith Lord thing. But throughout the entirety of episode one, everything that was recorded, written, and 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 put up, it was supposed to be revealed in episode two that he was actually a Sith Lord. And I wish that happened. I so wish that happened. That would have been, that would have made the whole series like a million times better. Well, yeah, all right, so look up the scenes. Like if you look up Jar Jar Binks as a Sith Lord, right? You'll find YouTube videos where you actually see Jar Jar mouthing the words that uh, Padme is saying because he's manipulating her. He's like right behind her going like, oh. but he's, his lips are lipping the exact words that uh, she was saying. Also, I, I'm pretty, like, George Lucas actually confirmed it as well. I'm pretty sure he did. But either way, it's confirmed just by watching the movie. Elliot, can you hear me? Did you hit the pump? Also, if you haven't seen the Phantom Edit, no, that's also worth Elliot. watching. Somebody Stop. did so what's called the Phantom Edit, where they basically edited the Phantom Menace to take out all the bullshitty parts. I'll be right there. Yes, There's that's why he has the yellow eyes. On top of the tower. I apologize for this mess. Relax, this ain't your fault. Use this time to get to know your dad. Use this time I to will. get to know your dad. I want to see if I can find something for you real quick. Damn it. Ah, I can't find it. Um, I was looking for the GIF. Uh, I was going to put it on here showing you um, Jar Jar Binks mouthing the exact words that uh, Padme was saying. But you could just look it up. There's there's whole videos that show you everything about uh, exactly what was going on. Because like he was basically purposely screwing them over. And then when you think about him taking over uh, the Senate spot afterwards, that part also makes more sense as well because obviously he would need to get in power. Um, but like then he changed the rest of it, which is stupid. It's just stupid, stupid and dumb. Saving the data. Yes. Yes. 
Oh, yeah. In the expanded universe. Well, Disney made all of that not canon anymore, so... Suck it, fans, I guess. Because Disney doesn't want any pesky lure getting in the way of their creativity. They're like, we just, we don't want you uh, doing it. Nope. <laughs> wink, wink, just nudge, nudge, snap, snap, ring, ring. Say no more. Wink, wink, snap, snap, nudge, nudge. Yeah, I think it's wink, wink, snap, snap, nudge, nudge. All right, so this we're gonna run through very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Now that I did that, I need to check one thing very quickly. I just need to load up one save file now that I saved, and I need to see if uh, see if the bank has a ton of money. No, you bitch! I only had two choices, and I picked the wrong fucking one. <laughs> I, I hate so much when I do that. I picked the right one. We did it. We're here. Yup, yup, that's a Dreamcast logo. That's accurate. Oh, and I found out the dead pixel situation. So remember how before I said, oh man, I think I have a dead pixel. I don't. Uh, there was actually a single pixel of pink on my pink border in the very center and uh yeah i don't know i don't know how the hell it got there but it was there and i think it probably made a bunch of people think they had a dead pixel in their um tv which i kind of hope it did that's that's funny to me because i'm sure they'd say it wasn't when they uh did something else oh yeah uh, getting to know her dad <laughs> what are you doing step dad oh that sounds wrong <laughs> well you guys know the meme, Step Bro, right? Load the game. What are you doing, Step Bro? Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah, I just gotta check something real quick. Yes, I agree with that. It's like it's less, I feel like it's less uh Disney's creativity and more um man if you don't get your bitch ass out of here boy i'll smack the shit out of you um uh are you not dead because you're still in my damn way uh and and more so like jj abrams and um uh ryan johnson fighting over what they want the story to be and then like taking spiteful attacks at each other all the time by like changing shit that there's no real reason to change but just to cut off storylines and stuff like i feel like it was like watching two people fight each other but through making a movie which is very frustrating like extremely frustrating it's just like J.J. Abrams sets something up and then, you know, Ryan Johnson's like, ah, killed Snoke. Ah, you know, like, he wasn't important anyway, but... <laughs> and then like, oh, who's Ray's parents? Oh man, they might be important. Who are they? And then like, Ryan Johnson's like, and not saying that J.J. Uh, um, Abrams was like much better, but like, just watching them screw over each other's storylines is nuts and then like the thing with the force ghosts being able to use lightning like what the hell where did that even come from it's just it like all of it's nuts but definitely the last jedi was like jumping the shark for sure 
That was like some crazy shit that's just unexplainable. Like now they have like forced Skype or whatever where they could just talk whenever they want and uh, you can like grab things through the force like to someone else or whatever when they're like in a whole nother area. It's just all of it's fucking weird. Oh no, 100%. She is a Mary Sue. Yeah, that's that's not even I didn't even know that anybody would debate that. Like, do you know what her biggest flaw is? She cares too much about people and believes in them too much. That's her character flaw. That's like her biggest flaw. It's like, oh, okay, so she is perfect then. And like, she had almost no training but like her force powers are insane and then she does like a lightsaber battle with Kylo Ren and like out fights him somehow even though I don't know he's probably one of the best in the galaxy as far as like other than Luke of course but like at least of the people left he's probably one of the best in the galaxy at like lightsaber dueling and, uh, yeah, she just, like, takes him out. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's, like, it's crazy. And then, and then also, like, all those maneuvers with the Millennium Falcon and her knowing more than Han Solo about it, like, stop. Like, it makes no sense. None of it makes any sense. And then, oh, my God, that one scene where, uh, where she's in the room, uh, with Snoke and um, the red guards or whatever. I forget what the hell they're called, but the, the guards in all the red. And that, that freaking choreography is so ridiculous. And there's even a part where the editor had to save Ray's life because there was a sword that was good, or there was a knife that was gonna go in her back and uh, they deleted it. They just, they digitally deleted it so that it looked like the knife was just gone for like 20 seconds or whatever or that it fell behind her back but you can actually see where they digitally got rid of it it's just it's it's so freaking funny how in the hell do i get to the freaking bank damn it every single time i use the wrong keyboard Blue stinger map. I I got to this friggin' area like 15 times. Maybe more. Alright, so there's a city map. To Bay Area Lab Town. Okay, that's where the fish are. Wait, is that really there? Oh, okay. All right, cool. Yeah, all right. Then I know where it is. What the hell? Why is that so... Okay. That's so weird. Okay. Okay, yeah, all right, now I remember. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go to the bank. <laughs> true, true. Ray's biggest flaw is becoming a Disney princess. What's insane is like when people defend the movie, uh, defend all of the new Star Wars, and they're just like, well, you just don't like Jane, and you don't, it's like it's so much more similar than you think, but it's just not executed well. Okay, good. He's dead. I feel like this other one's gonna be showing up any second. Oh, wait. 
He doesn't even care about me. Great. Are there any Christmas themed games on Dreamcast besides Blue Stinger, of course? Yes. Uh, sh I agree. Shin uh, Shenmue. Uh, Brandon is correct. Yeah, I think it's like actually a Christmas event on Christmas. I wonder if that's like, if there's a list anywhere of like, oh, uh, the new game, um, uh, Strikers, I think it's called. The, uh, um, it's basically like, it's going to be like, uh, why the hell can't I remember the game? The one where you're flipping around in the cars trying to get the ball into the goal. Why can't I remember that? I own it for Switch. What the hell? What the hell is that friggin' game called? You guys know what it's called. The one where you're like playing soccer, but you're in cars. Come on. Um, it's like a really popular, like, online game everybody plays. Damn it, why can't I remember it? Um, one of you guys got to know this shit. It's like literally a game where you drive inside of a soccer field and you hit the ball into the goal. Wait, is it raining right now in the game? Why did that look like it was raining? Rocket League, thank you so much. Yeah, it's like a top-down uh, Rocket League game and it's gonna have online play and uh it's a new indie game coming out and that when i first played the demo there was a christmas themed level and uh yeah there was like snow on the ground and christmas trees and there's christmas well no there wasn't christmas music i added that but uh it was very cool so that's another christmas themed game we're gonna have soon Bitch, if you don't back the fuck up... Yeah, just like a piñata. A piñata. Piñata. Yes. I agree with that analogy. I trust this analogy. Oh, also, um, but then after they did that, they would have to find, um, what the hell was that? Uh, they would have to find, after they make the game, they would have to find all, uh, Sonic fans and call them pieces of shit for not liking the new Sonic. That's the other thing they would have to do. They'd have to tell Sonic fans they're terrible people and they're misogynismus. They're misogynists and all that for not liking the Sonic game. That's the other thing that would have to happen. Well, yeah, I mean, that's why it happened. Like, so many movies do this exact defense. They basically very specifically hire people. And then the second the movie gets any bad reviews, they're like, oh, well, that's because of this. It has nothing to do with this movie being bad at all. Obviously, we made a perfect movie, but it's just all these jerks and trolls online. Oh my god, please die. It's, it's like, it's actually a marketing thing. It's crazy. Like, literally, they're just going, well, A, we'll have person A, B, and C in here. And then it doesn't matter how well we make the show or movie or not, because we'll just say, Oh, you're hateful to person A, B, or C, and that's why you don't like this movie. Yeah, that's why. Because you're a this-ist, or whatever, which, whichever one they choose. And it's like, or, or we just don't like the movie. That's an option, too. Like, like, I don't like Rose Tico. 
I think the whole story arc of her was really dumb. Like, my wife's Asian, so it has nothing to do with that. It's like, it's, it's just really dumb. Like, she stopped, like, one of the most interesting things from happening in the entire movie. Like, when he was going to do this big sacrifice, and he was going to ram the laser or whatever, and, uh, and then she bashes him out of the way, and it's like, that would have stopped the problem. <laughs> and it would have been interesting, because there would have been, like, stakes and shit, but, like, nope, can't let that happen. Gotta do this weird-ass love thing that came out of nowhere. And then that whole, uh, whatever that rich planet was, I can't remember the hell the name of it right now. Yeah, every Sonic comic and TV show before this is non-canon. They just do. Like, where, where are you going to grow to if you're already perfect? Like, you can't make a story arc if you're already at the tip. Then it's just a story down plot. Like... But that's the problem, is like... They, they go with this whole thing of... Well... You know... We couldn't possibly give her a flaw... Because that would reflect badly on us. I think that's kind of where it comes from. To where they're like, we can't make her look like she's flawed in any way, because then it's like, it's like we're writing her to be weak or something. It's like, as opposed to writing her to be the strongest being in the universe, like. I mean, flip a coin on which one's worse, but they're, they're, they're both really bad. Just make a normal character. Oh uh, shit, what is Elliot's code? I'm gonna check real quick. Uh, change... No. Change. Yeah, actually, that's what I need to do. 3532. 3532. Three, Damn it! No. Yes. Uh, I'm actually just going to look it up. I already found it before, but I can't remember what it was. Uh, bank card codes. Blue stinger. I've already accessed these uh, cards before. Uh, 1008. You bitch. No! You bitch. Okay. No. No. Yes. Wait, I didn't find the Yucatan one? 1861. Wait, that was it. What the hell? No. No. Yes. Oh, 1394. Oh, yeah, you missed definitely a lot of Star Wars talk. Uh, a lot of disappointment, a lot of soul crushing, a lot of... Uh, fan theories, you know? Uh, yeah, a lot of that shit. We're just basically all saying that um, there's still only six movies in the actual uh, Star Wars storyline. And it's definitely like the first six. That's what I would say. 
Okay, so it turns out none of those things had money. So we're going back to the other safe file. Where we're already at the boss. No, I mean, it's just, I hate, I hate when people that are not actually, like, people that actively don't respect the original story in any way and seek to just change characters for the reason of changing characters where they're just like, oh, well, yeah, you know, Luke's like a piece of shit now and he's an asshole and an old curmudgeon and he just gave up on his friends and everyone he loves, even though that's... 100% against anything he's ever done in any of the movies. But that's that's where we're going with this. Um yeah, that's what that's what we're going to do. Shit, which one is the newest one? I feel like it's got to be the 19. Yeah, that's got to be it. And like Yes. He's like going to kill his nephew over a dream and he just is not Luke and even Mark Hamill was so upset by it like you could see it in all the interviews he was pissed he's like I don't know I don't like the direction this is going and JJ's just like yeah we're gonna do this anyway we don't really care what would you know about your character come on what would what would Mark Hamill know really like really shit I gotta run across this well, I made it. Oh, oh god. Yeah, but is there a gift even over there? There's nothing shining. I don't have any reason to go there. But there might be shit over here. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. No, 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 no. I just, I went into um, the first new Star Wars movie uh, came out when I was doing home theater stuff and we would watch like the demos and it looked really cool. And there are definitely cool parts of it. Like there's definitely cool parts in it. But it's just, I don't know, story-wise it just, it's very weird. Almost all of the choices are very weird. Don't fall, don't fall you son of a bitch. Okay, I don't think I even need to deal with that. Yeah, I can just run across this. Fuck! Goo! God damn it! I knew that was gonna happen. I didn't actually know that was gonna happen. Why'd you put me on this side, you dumb son of a bitch? Well, what the hell? Now I have to kill this thing. What a waste of ammo. Damn. Elliot. Um, I mean, honestly, I don't really watch a lot of sports. It's just because time-wise, like, anytime I spend watching sports, I could be spending playing a video game. Which always makes me like, I'd rather do that, probably. For me, it's an easy choice between most things in video games, but sports, because I don't really have a super strong affiliation with most teams, I'm just like, yeah. yeah. <gasps> oh shit, I, f I wonder if that first area has friggin' missiles. Now I gotta check that real quick. Because I do not want to miss out, haha, <laughs> missile out on any of those shits. I just hope this stupid, uh. Man, that is such a freaking convoluted path to get there. <clears throat> nice. Oh no, we're not, we're good. We're not restarting again. 
we're just here. Uh, we're right at the boss, and uh, yeah, we're about to beat this shit. Um, is there anything? No, there's nothing over there. I'm just trying to get uh, as much equipment as possible. Okay, I think I did actually check out all the areas here then. I didn't see any weapons anywhere, so. Oh, that was, that was close. That was close as hell too. All right, good, he did not come back. Ooh. Ooh. That'd be great. Oh, the sumo shirt. Oh no, I can't change characters right now. I bought it. I definitely have it. Oh shit, I can't even change. I can't even check uh, his weapon or whatever. That's nuts. Yeah. Damn it. You can't believe you've never used what word? Dude, those acid things work so good on those guys. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, these are still useful right now. Balls. Wait, what the fuck? Not where I was trying to end up, for real. Shit, 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 shit. Oh god, I'm just trying not to die at this moment. Damn it, I was really hoping I saw ammo there. This, oh Jesus. Oh, this, this bitch is gonna kill me. I hate these things so much. Oh shit. Uh, there is Doom on DC, uh, but it is um, homebrew. It's not like legit, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not gonna waste the bazooka. Shotgun, yeah, I'll use that shit. <laughs> I did not wind up using the shotgun. Okay, I did. That was pretty dope. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Limpy. Good job. I think I'll just need a small... Oh, God. Ow. I will definitely need a large Hassie. And now I, now I gotta friggin' waste it. Because... I only need half health, but the problem is I need to run through this part. Get it, run? Oh, you bitch. 
Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Got missiles. Got missiles, bitches. I do have the keyboard and mouse. I think uh, the mouse is an amazing investment that everyone should make for their Dreamcast. Oh, shit! I thought it was one of those friggin' ones that were gonna move. I don't have a lot of chances left. Oh, God. Oh, God. I went the wrong freaking way. He, like, runs if he's turning... Like... Turning left or right, but he doesn't run otherwise. Oh shit. Uh, probably out trigger. Ah shit, we said it at the same time. Nice. I see you're a man of culture as well. We liter I literally said that as it came up on my chat. Good choice. Fucking solid choice. Oh no, there's one of those bitches up here. So many shots from the shotgun to kill this thing. And I know there's one of those stupid dragonflies around here somewhere. I'm just glad I don't have to run across this. Oh shit. How come I could run that way, but I can't run this way? Am I just gonna have to plug in a friggin' regular ass controller? I've never had a problem with these Striker DC controllers until like last week. Oh my god, move. Okay, now I can actually run. That's good. That's a plus. He really is. But the last controller I was using would not allow me to run. It was very weird. Uh, can I just go around this way? Why would I go through there if I can go around this way? Stupid. Stupid game. Being stupid. Damn it! It's because I have to. Alright, I'm stupid now. Stupid me. <laughs> Uh, second favorite shooter, probably like, uh, Unreal Tournament, maybe? Or, um, Gundam. Whew, that was smooth. I freaking love Gundam Side Story. Yeah, I think it's called, uh, Gundam... Oh, oh, uh, like, oh, oh, nine or something, side story. It's really cool. I love, like, the first person aspect of it. All right, so. Here's what I'm going to do, guys. Yeah. Give me one second. So I want to show you guys something that's very cool. Uh, let me see if this works. 
So I want to show you guys something that's very cool. Crap, it's like duplicating. <laughs> Here it is. Wow, my keyboard is uh, very uh, hearable. Wow, my keyboard is. Uh, We're gonna very, uh, try and raid somebody if that's possible. Uh, really cool guy. Gonna, He's uh, raided here a few times, and let's see if we can do it. Uh, really cool nice. Guy. Okay, so it looks like it worked. Um, but I don't know if it has yet because I've never done it before. It says it's been created. Because I've never done it before. I don't know why it's still duplicating. So, no, it looks like it hasn't. I'm not sure why. Uh, I have to actually. Oh wait. I'm Did it sure work? Why. No, it didn't. Uh, I have to actually... I'm gonna have to test it out one day. I don't know why the hell it's not working. Nope. Still nothing. I don't know what it means by rate in progress. I have not ever done that before. But um, yeah, so Gundam side stories. It's late for Halloween suggestion, but I remember that. Oh yeah, did you ever see um, the disc for, uh, somebody made like the actual Dreamcast playable, the actual uh, Dreamcast version of um, Yeah, this is my dude right here. With the U trade. Thank you for the raid, homie. Yo, Everybody from Ritz yo, stream, yo. Me. My name is Abstract OW and full time content extraordinaire. Posting daily on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. But yeah, definitely say hi to my bud. He's a, he's a super dope guy. Thank you for the raid. How? What were you playing? What dream? What, uh. So the uh, secret is I got to go to bed um, regardless. So I figured I'd show you guys my buddy's stream, subscribe to him or follow him. Uh, definitely. He's really awesome, especially if you like first person shooters and stuff. But uh, yeah, I got to go to bed. Here's what I'm going to try to do for you, though. Tomorrow. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is stream tomorrow. And uh, when I stream tomorrow, we're going to finish this boss. So I don't normally stream on Wednesdays, but I'm going to try to do that for you guys. Because I wanted to get the boss done tonight, but I just... There were things that needed to be done first. Um, so, anyways. Uh, thank you so much for watching.